Um, hold on, it's not even. Dude, I'm so excited to freaking eat this. So I really want to wear something that's actually hot that'll make me sweat. That's why I couldn't find it for the longest time. So we got our soju and our Casper. Alexa, stop. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. It's around 8.30 right now, and I decided I wanted to do a day in my life because I haven't done one of these in the longest time. I feel like lately I've been just in the mood to do lifestyle vlogs, which is just me traveling mostly, traveling as much as I can. So yeah, the plan is to first get my closet situated, clean my room a little bit because it is a little bit messy and I do go back to work pretty soon so I want to get that done as soon as possible. I really do also need to throw away the flowers that Alex gave me because they're pretty much dead. Um, and then I'm going to go to the and then at 9.30 I'm going to go to the gym because I have a reservation time. So for those of you who don't know, <laughs> you have to register now to go to the gym and you're only allotted an hour. Also, I did my hair. I'm going to insert the Snapchat clips that I have because I didn't actually film in there. It was a lot faster than I thought it would be. I was there from 9.30 to like 1 p.m. And that's pretty fast for someone to like do your hair. Or at least I think because I've been at a salon for like five to six hours. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Um, so let's just get into this cleaning montage and I'll take you along with me for the rest of the morning. driving this car in the very beginning when I first got my license and I remember that I couldn't even function because it was so freaking huge compared to my tiny ass Honda so let's see how this goes okay so I haven't actually been to this 24 in over three months because I usually only go to this 24 if I need to get gas because it's next to the gas station at Costco since my other 24 closed down, which is really depressing because I would usually go to that 24 whenever I would go on the way to yoga. I would like run for like 20 minutes and then I would go straight to yoga because it's on the way. It's kind of a bummer that that closed, but what you have to do now, if you don't already know, you have to download their 24 and go app, which is actually really difficult for like older people because I don't know. It was even kind of hard for me to figure out because for the longest time they didn't have the reservation time. But if you can see right there, it'll give you a reservation time and it'll say like 6.30 to 7.30 and you like check in. Check in to club, so it's a touch free check in. So I should probably get in line because they're accepting people inside now. So I'm going to go. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so hard I don't know if it's just cuz like maybe I haven't been getting good workouts at home or because I was so rushed but holy crap I burned oh my gosh can you even see that it's backwards I literally burned for 430 calories whoo okay let me open my windows first and then I'll talk about everything because this is my first time going to any gym since the whole covid thing <laughs> oh, I don't my sunglasses. 
Okay, so basically they have the, like what I said earlier, the touchless, um, I'm sweating so much, so they have the touchless, let me turn this off so it won't make noise, but they have the touchless check-in when you first do it and then you check it and it shows your name and like a photo of you that you uploaded. Um, but I find it so pointless because nowadays you can probably just check in under someone else because everyone's wearing a mask and they can't tell you to take it off, which I think is pretty crazy. Um, but they did let you let me check in like five minutes early, which was nice um, because of the fact that, you know, like you think an hour is enough and they suggest like an hour a day of exercise or they suggest 30 minutes. But usually everyone likes to get an hour in. Sorry, I'm so sweaty. But it's hard to get an hour in when you're switching from like machine to machine and different weights So there's it should technically be like an hour and like 10 minutes I think because like it takes me like 10 minutes to move from place to place So I wasn't taking my regular like one minute breaks in between things Because I was like oh my god watching the time the whole time but Everything was really spread out which I really liked because they allotted um I feel like just the right amount of people to go in because I never felt like I didn't have equipment to use and I was never really waiting for anything. But that could vary based on time, maybe like later on in the evening so there's more people, but I don't know what the max capacity is. Um, and then the gym is now allocated for more cardio equipment, so you saw like the bike spread out over there and then the um, rowing equipment and then some more treadmills. Which I liked because I used that as like a hit area, like I would go on the bike and then I'd do some weights because you can bring like the dumbbells in there. Um, and I've already been doing that. If you watch my old vlogs, I already have done that. And there's never really anyone doing those kinds of workouts, so it's really easy for me to kind of like adjust to it. Um, and then another thing... I don't know, it's like a good and bad thing because it makes you really allocate the time and... It makes you really like time manage your workout because of the fact that you only have an hour and right when it's like they'll call out 10 minutes before the club closes and you're like okay what do I need to do in the last 10 minutes there's no more like anyone sitting around on their phones everyone's like really trying to get a good workout in because the hour is all you have what I'm wondering though is if I try to check in for another class will it let me so let's see. Let's try it on my phone. Oops. Like if I go to 24. Also, I've been using the 24 Go app to do some treadmill inter intervals because lately I've just been jogging a lot. And my usual is like I'll go 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes at a two, two level two incline and a 6.5 um, speed and that's like literally I just go like 15 minutes straight of that and it's been really boring so I did this interval training through the 24 and go app. I think it's free like you don't even have to be a 24 member to actually use it but what I'm wondering now is if I can actually try and um, have a new workout like if I do this one like if I try to go later on in the day let's see if it'll let me oh my gosh they won't that's lame okay so you can only go one time a day otherwise it says you have already had a reservation for this day wow that sucks what the heck what a bummer so I guess you can only use it one time a day and they actually are able to track it. That's lame, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go home now because I still actually have a yoga class at three. But now that I am so tired, I don't know if I still wanna go to it, but we might as well since it's my day off. Plus, yoga is never really like that tiring, but I did sign up for the yoga strength, so we'll see how that goes. Because yoga strength, and the instructor that I chose for today is like one of the hardest instructors. But we gotta go hard today because I didn't work out at all yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
make it there so much podcast. more. I don't have my Bluetooth, but I continue to promote her. But if you haven't already listened to her, Kaylin's Coffee Talk is like one of my favorite, all time favorite podcasts that I always listen to. I don't know if it's just the fact that her voice is so like soothing and therapeutic to listen to, or the fact that I really like the content. I think it's probably a mix of both. I also got these Yoshinoya coupons in the mail and I used to think coupons I was like what's the point they always just waste a bunch of paper trying to get people to use them but now that I'm older and I realize how freaking hard it is to make money and how hard you have to fucking work I'm like hell yeah I'll save a couple dollars <laughs> so I'm gonna clip this one out so that I can use it later if I need one if I need one, if I want to eat. My favorite are the combo bowls. And then, I don't know how much they are regularly, but this one says it's two for 11, which isn't bad. That's about 11 right now, and I body wash. I didn't wash my hair, because technically after you do your hair, you're supposed to wait two days until you wash it, just so the toner lasts a little bit longer. Um, but I did a little bit of my makeup just because I don't know why I'm stuttering so much But I did my makeup a little bit because I wanted to film kind of a life update sit down kind of video because I haven't actually sat down sat down and talked with you guys in a long time So I kind of wanted to update you on everything going on So I'll probably film that a little bit later, but I am getting a little bit hungry So I think I'm gonna try and make something I don't know what we have, but we'll see. So I put chia seeds, some peanut butter, honey, and an oatmeal, and now I'm going to add some fruit. I don't really plate it very nicely. I just kind of mush it there. I just like to put a lot of fruit because, I don't know, it's summertime. And then let me see if I still have granola. Add a little bit of granola on top. This is my favorite granola. It's by Nature Valley. It's actually really high in calories. Just kidding. Usually I like to top it with either honey or coconut. Today I'm doing a little bit of coconut. Let me show you. Yum! So I'm gonna go eat this bowl of stickers and watch some YouTube probably just cause why not? Dude, I'm so excited to freaking eat this. I'm gonna get my water too cause I try to drink a lot of water before I eat so that I don't overeat. So that's why I have this here. Also, I wanna put this my seven leaves in the fridge so that I can drink it again later.
Okay, thank you. I don't know why I do this to myself. So I've been off for, I think this is my sixth day off. Um, my last day working was like last week on Thursday, I believe. Maybe even Wednesday. But there, yeah, Wednesday was the last time I worked. I got off Thursday morning. Um, so I decided to pick up another shift. I don't know why I did this to myself because I already have three days in a row. But after working like three days and then another three days, working an extra. I just put myself down for half a shift because I was like, I don't really want to do three days. I know I'd, I'd rather just um, like half a shift and then my regular three. And I know a lot of people do it because because you make a good amount of money when you do overtime and it's super easy to pick up overtime, especially at my job, because the fact that I'm night shift, we make like, we can make a lot of money off of it, but I never really pick it up just because I'm like, I'm so tired. Like yesterday night, I slept at like 9 p.m. and I didn't even wake up until 8 a.m. and I've just been like super exhausted and on nights I just feel super jet lagged. But yeah, I picked up another shift because they were super short, like, it was like they were short every single day this week, so I don't know what it feels like to work short-staffed, and it can sometimes really be awful. But I'll talk a little bit more about it in my update video, and maybe I'll film that later on, probably in a few minutes. Let me get my lashes on. I don't feel too bad when I don't look too cute in like my vlogs, but when I look bad in my sit down videos, it's kind of like a big deal to me. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go change into something cuter and then go ahead and sit down and film that video. Um, I finished my breakfast, I finished my water. I'm gonna refill my water and then bring my plates down. So I picked up a shift, I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> I like totally forgot that I signed up for a, um, what is it called? It was like an information session for one of the master's schools I was looking at. I feel like I should, you should probably watch the update video before you watch this vlog. But yeah, if you didn't know, I was trying to look into master's schools because I really wanted to, um, just start looking. I don't know. It's been almost a year since I've been in nursing and I've always wanted to go to master's so that's just... Oh my god, it starts in like two minutes. Right now it's 11.58. Now I have to go find the, the code. I won't bore you with the details of what school it is because it's just one of the schools that I'm looking at and I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh, I don't want to show my face right now. Good thing I put on some makeup. So, this is my outfit for yoga. I don't know how hot it's gonna be, so I really wanna wear something that's actually hot that'll make me sweat. So that's why I'm wearing this big fleece jacket. Um, but yeah. That's why I'm wearing this. I got this from Paxson and it's super cute and I got it for like 15 bucks, which is super cheap because it's freaking Adidas. And like, how do you get a $15 jacket that looks like this that's Adidas? So I'm actually super excited to wear this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera just because my eyebrows look so ugly. I don't know why I did them like this. I think I'm just gonna wipe them off. Um, but I don't think I'm going to bring my camera just because I think that it's kind of weird that if I bring my camera in there, it's just going to be kind of awkward. So I'll take my phone, if anything, but I'll see you guys after the workout. I'm like debating whether or not I want to use the mat I use at home. I, okay, so the mat that I have is like this type, but it's orange. But I really like this mat because it doesn't like move around everywhere. It like stays in one place. The only problem with it is sometimes it's hard to um, like keep it straight because of the fact, or not keep it straight, I keep slipping on it, but I I'm, I actually like broke it in pretty well. I think it's kind of like ready to be used at a yoga studio. I don't know, I really want to use it, but I also don't want to, I don't know, I should just. This thing? Yeah. Or Yeah, 
Hey, what's up everyone? So right now I'm here with Alex and Hello. I just got finished with yoga and we're gonna go eat at it used to be called Kokyo Chicken. Not Legend Korean. Chicken. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find it for the longest time. I know, it was me on Yelp. Either. Yeah, it's Legend um, Chicken. But they're open for dine in, so we're all ready to go get our chicken. I brought my Pepsi. <laughs> Oh, does that mean you're gonna drink now? Yeah. Wow. Are you excited? Yeah, let's go. At the Korean place, but I don't wanna um, bring my camera in. Oh, can you fix my camera? Let's, let's see. Because it, look, it makes the sound again. There's always an issue with it. I don't know why. Okay. But I'm so excited to eat chicken and drink some beer and soju. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Eat some more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So cute. What is your mask like? Thank you. They have a little sanitizer over there. So we got our soju and our cask beer. This is my favorite freaking beer. If you've never tried it, it's so good. It is. Hey, that's the one they serve in Korea. Yeah. You want to show the Oreos we got after we went to Tokyo? They're my favorite. The thins with the dark chocolate. Oh my gosh. But yeah. We ate our Kokyo, we went to Walmart to get some snacks, yep. and I got my favorite. If you haven't seen my Snapchats where I always rave about these, you should follow me on my Snapchat. And no, I'm gonna go gonna, work out. Alex is gonna work out. I'm gonna go home, edit this vlog, and try and get it uploaded. But that's gonna be it for this vlog, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. You don't wanna say anything? Uh, subscribe. <laughs>